Alright guys, today we're actually going to be showing you how to, well, in retrospect, make your own classifiers for OpenCV to use in your grow house or grow operation in case you want to be a sustainable agriculturist, but you want to use it with marijuana. Alright, so first off, you're going to have to download the Cascade Trainer GUI. Well, before that, you're actually going to have to get a data set. So let's say you have a video called Growth. We're going to play that with Windows Media Player. Alright, I'll show you. It's just basically some data, okay? Download the data. Okay, then from there, you're going to use ffmpeg then use this command Hold on, where is it you're going to run that command the, obviously this is going to be a little bit different for you just um, copy and paste the um, the source into it and then run it with this command afterwards and you will get an output file once you do that you're going to have to manually um, put it into a positive and negative. Negative should have no images of your plant um, and then positive should have all images of your plant. You want to make it like relative. So like even if it's just a tiny little speck make sure it has it and same for negative. You don't want to have any negative images containing marijuana plants. Alright now after you've done that you're going to put those folders in the NMP and then you're going to go to the Cascade Trainer you're going to go to input, click browse, and you're going to go to images, and you're going to select that folder. Oh, by the way, you have to create a folder called images for all that. Okay, you're going to select that folder. Then you're going to um, type in how many negative images. For instance, I have 113, but I'm not going to do it because that would mess up my current, cask my current thing that I have going on. And then you would click start. After that, it'll run through and then you should have a file called cascade all right do not you don't really have to change that until you have like multiple cascade files which you'll get to there all right once you have that cascade file you can test it if you want and run through it right there it's pretty simple or you can type in your own python code one custom classifier i'll have this source code in the description and then just type that in and once you hook that up to a USB camera or any kind of camera whatsoever you'll be able to classify if you have marijuana or not and from there you can do all types of things so if you want to classify bad plant good plant or if you want to say that nutrients off balance you can collect all the data it's really up to you all right my name is Adam Abdub and this is how to use some of my technology at Fahrenheit 117